From our studios in Atlanta, this is CBT News. So there's a lot of buzz around One Huddle right now, right? Yeah, we have so, a lot of excitement going on. I bet. Yeah. So for the dealers that are watching right now that are not as familiar with the One Huddle brand, kind of give us the 101 on your company and what you what you do and how you help dealers. Yeah, so our argument, Jim, is that the workforce is changing pretty dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, younger workers, I'm sure everybody here is tired of the word millennial by now. Yes. So yeah. we know that yeah. you know training is changing, the workforce is changing, right. the skill gaps are changing. <laughs> you know, in, in your in your dealership, we have to find ways to respond by changing the way that we are training. Yeah. So a lot of the companies that we talk to and work with are right. still printing the manuals. They're yeah. still uh, trying to create online courses, which are all good. Right. Uh, but if we're trying to respond to a workforce that's moving really rapidly, right. uh, we have to find better ways to connect with that workforce. Sure, sure. So what specifically and how do you help that? What does One Huddle do? Yeah. So One Huddle takes all of your training material, your mm -hmm. product knowledge information. So okay. for a dealership, everything your new sales rep or service rep needs to know to do their job. Right. We give you a platform to turn them into quick burst mobile games. Okay. So for an employee that's on the go or reps within a dealership, yeah. all of their corporate training is in the form of quick burst games on their mobile device. Uh, allows the company to create interactive contests okay. across the dealership. Very cool. Reward and incentivize training. Yeah. And you know, we kind of say, when was the last time you got your employees to compete against each other on yeah. something like training? Oh, forget it. Yeah. Never. Never is probably the answer. So that's that's really cool. So so for the most part, now you've got more of a pull for the training where where people want to get involved in it because it's fun. Right? Absolutely. And it's, and it's competitive. Where typically people have heard the word training, and they're like, ah, I don't want to do it. Don't it, get me involved. Training's a bad word at times, right? right. It depends, you right. know. I think that for a lot of a lot of dealerships, they spend a lot of time, energy, and money onboarding a new hire. Right. And then you kind of got to let them go out there and fly. Yeah. And when product knowledge changes or yeah. new promotions roll out, oh, yeah. it's it takes a lot of time for a manager to spin up new training. So what we've tried to focus on is making it easier for managers, right. easier for dealerships. Right. If you have to launch a new product, you yeah. got to get people up to speed quickly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be the way that you do that. So they, the dealer works directly with you. You then put it on your platform. You do all of the back end work and it shows up on, in these apps. Yeah, so we can have a dealership live in under two weeks. Wow. So the dealership would hand off to us. The other thing we've learned is people want to train on their own stuff. Yeah. You yeah. know, so if you spend a lot of money on uh, different trainers to come in, mm -hmm. that's great, but that means you have your own philosophy. Right. Maybe you want to pull a few things from a few different trainers and bring it together to make it your training philosophy. Right. You can do that with our platform. Right. So once you're live, which we help you do, mm -hmm. we brand the whole platform end to end for you. Okay. And then managers can update new games on their own uh, in minutes. So right. as time goes on, they don't have to email us to help them. You know, a 16-year-old cool. manager could log on our platform and build games. Wow, very cool, very cool. So, and then the salesperson or the manager that's on this training uh, platform with you, they're building their own score, right? And they're trying to always top that? Yeah, so they're competing against themselves. Right. And then they're competing against their coworkers. Right. So, you have, we have dealerships that do weekly contests where yeah, it might be a idea. cash bonus, it yeah. might be something you can't see or touch, it might be an experience, but yeah. Uh, we'll have dealerships that either do 52 contests a year, one a week. Right. We'll have some that just do once a month. Right. Um, but the important thing for me was every dealership has to be able to do it their way. Sure. It's their culture. It's their fit. Sure. Um, and a lot of the software that I used to use as a manager was very constraining. Sure, sure. And I, so I'd imagine there's kind of a monthly subscription that a dealer would pay to be on the platform. Is that how that works? So you pay an upfront fee. Yep. Uh, that just depends on how much you want us to do for you. So right. how many games do you want us to get spun up for you? Okay. We just launched with Audible, the okay. Amazon company. Yeah. Uh, they pushed us 50 learning modules. We turned them into 50 games. Right, wow. We also launched, like we were talking about with the Atlanta Braves. Yeah. They only had three games they wanted us to build. We got it got it spun up and right. live. Very so, cool. Uh, integration fee and then ongoing fee per dealership based off number of users. Right, you can do OEMs as well as dealers, right? You got it. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Well, Sam, thank you very much for joining us on CBT News. It's very exciting. So you won the Tank Award, right? We did, yeah. So talk to us about that for a second before we let you go. Yeah, I mean, this was an exciting event. They had uh, eight awesome companies up there. Uh, you had three minutes, so you were on the under the gun. Yeah. Uh, some pretty 
good hosts up there. Room was packed. It was a lot of energy. Uh, three minute pitch, three minute Q and A. Yeah. Uh, and we got lucky enough, and you know we we took home the award. I wow. gotta go track it down now. Somewhere. That is huge. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You. So hopefully we can have you back on CBT in a few months. Talk about how it's rolling out. Would love to. That'd be great. Thank Thanks, you Jim. so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching the official news source of the retail automotive industry, CBT News.